Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a rowdy couple in love for those reacting to some Russian Badger. Yes, we do. And so we're checking out his uh, Left 4 Dead 2 video, uh, Built Different, Built Stupid. <laughs> um, if you want all of our Russian Badger reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. We also have some Left 4 Dead uh, reactions as well that we've uh, that we've done. So you check both of those out. We have playlists for all of them. Um, are you ready to check this out? I'm ready. Okay. Just so you know, this video is sponsored by Opera GX. <laughs> hmm. I'll tell you more in just a couple minutes. Put the gnome away, Master Chief. You don't need it. You don't I'll need it. It's a burger. stupid achievement. Let him finish the fight. <laughs> what the hell? What? Oh my god, is that canon? That the Arkham Knight saved Master Chief from Elmo? <laughs> carrying a gnome for the achievement? That's like the worst YouTube clickbait title you could ever imagine. <laughs> Arkham Knight saves Master Chief from Elmo in front of Shrek while carrying no? Not clickbait gone wild? Sponsored <laughs> by Rage Shadow Legends? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't download Source Bait. I'm stuck. Welcome to the greatest horde shooter ever, Left 4 Dead 2. Game where, oh, you know what? I think I read that wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one again. Welcome to the second greatest horde shooter ever, Left 4 Dead 2. A game that usually starts like, yeah, shooting zombies with guns is fun, and usually ends like, can't believe we shot Yoshi with a oh Smith and Wesson. <laughs> I'll admit that my dumb shit characterization of the game might be a little deranged given the number of mods I run. Left 4 Dead 2 is a game where Otis from Barnyard kills Dallas and <laughs> You fucking Benedict Arnold, I'm riding with a turncoat. But if you'd like to see some of the worst mods ever made, stop fucking shoving me, you prick. Played by some of the best players to ever play, and we're talking skip prom to grind Sigma male level players. Damn. Don't care. Fuck you, Catherine. Prom probably sucked anyway. I was grinding Left 4 Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tell you about <laughs> I'd love to tell you about Left 4 Dead 2. You gotta explain this to the world, Badger. Just before we get into things, thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. The world's first gaming web browser that's so awesome, it makes me want to explore. You see, unlike other <laughs> web browsers that steal your computer's RAM and resources, give me your f***ing RAM. Get away from me, you goddamn D. It has GX control that allows you to limit how much RAM, CPU, and bandwidth it's using so gaming and browsing <laughs> simultaneously doesn't set your computer on fire. And unlike nice. other browsers that flashbang you with white backgrounds every time you open them. You can okay. customize the color theme and force dark mode on every page, so you won't have to visit the eye doctor anymore. Though he is a pretty cool guy. Yavol. It's even got dank integrations like GX Player for your favorite music service, Twitch to see when your favorite streamers are live, and Discord for anybody sliding and or stampeding into your DMs. <laughs> I know change is hard, but Opera makes it easy with quick import to bring all your settings like bookmarks and passwords over from Chrome and even a mobile version for syncing files, videos, and links. <laughs> Download Opera GX via the link below and get my very own custom color theme and background so you can browse and game like never before. I'm no astronaut, but that sounds like a pretty smart idea. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video and getting me away from Google Chrome. <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2 is a game where four survivors of a zombie apocalypse rushing to catch a helicopter evac are, you guessed it, oh shit, uh, Left 4 Dead. Yes, Left 4 Dead. Hey, we're still here, hey! I thought they were supposed to be getting us out of this shit. Okay. Helicopters don't come back when you yell at them. Valuable lesson. You <laughs> three tuck that away for later. Now grab a weapon and follow me. This goddamn <laughs> building's on fire. Which means fighting your way out in search of a new salvation is your only option. Whether that be a busted ass boat, the military, or maybe even another helicopter. Looks like the whirly bird was heading to the mall across town. Helicopter. It is a helicopter. You call that thing a whirly bird one more time, I'll beat you so bad, your sister's gonna wish she never gave birth to you. Obviously, oh. this isn't a dream team of zombie killers, but at least you've got coach the dependable positive one that's always ready to get a cheeseburger or give some words of encouragement. Come on now, let's just get through this shit. Rochelle, the news producer, is cut from the same friendly and considerate cloth who's probably the greatest woman on earth because <laughs> she's probably the only woman left on earth. Hey, I'm here. Ellis the mechanic is a storytelling youngster that most people find dummy stupid, but I beg to differ. You say naive, I say useful in an apocalypse. Just a car. Just a car? That's like saying the Mona Lisa is just a sculpture or shit, man. That's like saying Jimmy Gibbs is just a driver. That's like saying the girl on the bridge is just a little pretty. 
You know what I like best about your stories, Ellis? The sound they make when they stop. And of course, <laughs> Nick, the former con man gambler that's yeah. whiny, sarcastic, and never impressed by anything ever. But don't let his harsh demeanor fool you, because underneath that fistful of rings and $3,000 suit, he is a real piece of shit. That's great. <laughs> to the three people in Georgia not carrying a gun. With these four, you'll be fighting your way through the South after every possible lifeline that can save you, including helicopters, boats, and bridges, with plenty of safe rooms along the way. I'm telling you for the last goddamn time, lower the goddamn bridge, you greasy vest-wearing monkey. And if you really want to get fucking fancy pants tacked, we don't have time. The shit. All right, fine. So, how does a reasonable story like this suddenly involve goofy, unrelated shit like shooting Yoshi with a 500 no. Magnum or Iron Man whipping out a Glock 19? I would still <laughs> like to think that when Iron Man runs out of all munitions, he just pulls out a Glock 19. <laughs> <laughs> Basically just mods, but if we're getting technical, the workshop. Because in your average horde shooter, it would take a shit ton of work to swap out one of the main characters for someone like Arthur Morgan. Oh, God, just the fact that Rochelle is like mini Arthur Morgan. Where's our money? I don't speak German either. Everybody gangsta till Arthur Morgan start fanning Thanos with a witch. <laughs> Smokes 12 packs of cigars to build up dead. <laughs> But since this is a Valve game on the Source engine, it has access to this wonderful thing called the Workshop, which allows you to add maps, weapons, characters, or any other mod you want. Hell, the model I'm wearing right now is from the Source Filmmaker Workshop. Dragon and Z Super. so is this, and so is this. You want both your fists to suddenly turn into loaves of bread? Bang! Straight off the Workshop. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say that everything on the Workshop is a good idea, but God damn it, is it ever frictionless to equip. Why the fuck would you want Hitomi from Dead or Alive 5 as Francis. <laughs> and once you start clicking this button, you can't stop clicking this button. With Rochelle, Coach, Ellis, and Nick transforming into Pickless Cage, Battletoad, Doomslayer, and Isaac Clark before you know nice. the nefarious shit. <laughs> You have to be green. You must be green to be in this squad. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm, I'm a bro, you're a battle toad. I'm battle toad. <laughs> Thanks, Pickless Cage. You're welcome. Pickless Cage. Pickless Cage, that's amazing. <laughs> I think you get the mod situation now. Me click green button, me turn thing that looks like this into thing that looks like this. Sonic! <laughs> Brilliant. Let's move on to the bad guys, because no matter what they look like, and no matter what you look like, you're still gonna need to kill them if you hope to survive. <laughs> oh, please! Oh, I got him in the Whoa, what the f Dallas came up swim. from the depths and punched him into outer space. The horde comes first because they are everywhere all the time. And I know a single zombie isn't scary, but you're facing hundreds per chapter and thousands per campaign. Damn. I don't care if it's cheeseburgers, coaches, or regular ass plain Jane zombies, a thousand <laughs> of almost anything is terrifying. Hamburgers? <laughs> oh, you gotta chill. Hello, yes, Gabe Newell. I would like to turn your game into a fucking hodgepodge of whatever I think of. Fuck out of my way, coach. <laughs> You two, Shrek. My friends call me Coach. Oh my God. Oh, jeez. Coach is one weakness other than chainsaws. The Mossberg 680 from Modern Warfare. The special infected are where it gets interesting because unlike basic ass regular zombies that are dumber than dirt, these guys can pin you. And please, Games Workshop, please, please, please don't sue me for making this joke, but uh. Brother, I am pinned here. This means that once they've grabbed a hold of you, they aren't letting go until either a teammate saves you or you're down on the ground bleeding to death. And although all four special infected do the same thing, they've each got a unique technique. <laughs> you hear that jingle? I happen to prefer the piano version myself. That means a hunter is nearby, a hoodie wearing Ooh. Superman that can leap over buildings and into your rib cage in a single bound. He's by far my favorite. <laughs> Ooh. Scary, I know, but he's super squishy and loves making loud noises before and during his jump. Yeah! So no matter if it's a cloaker, Elmo, Kermit the Frog, or Chuck E. Cheese, you'll hear him coming. <laughs> oh my I god, that's so this, scary. I got this, bro. Watch this. Good no one. Problems. Good one. <laughs> bro, I've been up and down long all game, my guy. Tickle that, Elmo. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, Spider-Man, for PlayStation oh, Spider is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Charles Entertainment Cheese. Oh shit! Oh, get me! That, that is Santa Charleston. Oh, no, get, get, get me off of Siren Head, please. 
Thanks, Batman. You too, Sanic. You really are a true friend. That's not my meme. That's Oscar on Twitter. He calls him Charles Entertainment Cheese instead of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Bro, it is Charles the Entertainment Cheese the third. The first brother died in the war. Put some respect on his name. <laughs> it's Charles Entertainment Cheese. I'm gonna melee you. Oh, I did not. That did not Charles work. Entertainment Cheese. I'm a genius. Oh, no. The smoker is far less intimidating, which may explain why I've got hours of badass hunter footage and like 10 seconds of smoker footage. <laughs> You see, even his jingle sucks, but I guess that fits, because slurping is sort of his thing. He wraps you up with his long-ass tongue and reels you in from a distance, Japanese Spider-Man style. No, I'm getting smoked! No, 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 Bing, Bing, right-click me, right-click me. Smoke! No, it's, it's, it's Japanese Spider-Man was pulling PS1 Spider-Man from Neverstar. It's literally the meme of the two Spider-Man pointing at Yes, it's literally the meme. Getting a little more in your face, jockeys will hop on your back and ride you like Seabiscuit, wrangling you in any direction they want, which makes them a real bitch to get off. Yeah. But he's especially easy to hear with his never-ending maniacal laughter, which is why I usually make him the Green Goblin. You're boring me, Spider-Man! <laughs> There you go. I'll get you, Spider-Man. Chargers are the 10th prestige veterans of beating their meat, with right arms the size of tree trunks ready to rock you like a freight train and smash you in a ground chuck once they come to a stop. Your teammates aren't safe either, because even if he's grabbing somebody else, he can still truck other survivors backwards while sending his main target into a wall, off a ledge, or screaming off a bridge. So it's best to avoid his hummel, like what I would do to a sandwich if I really wanted to get it in my mouth fast, you know what I mean? I don't actually pummel sandwiches. Badger's like a wood chipper fucking subway sandwich. Badger legitimately goes into I, got him. I, got him. I come into a room, I see an illuminated doge face on Donkey Kong beating the meat off of me. <laughs> He's off the bridge, right? Oh, you're off the bridge, Spider Man! Oh my god! Look out! Oh, I heard him. Oh my god! <laughs> what? That was scary as shit. These four pinning special infected are supported by boomers. These bile-filled balloon uh, zombies ready to vomit all over you or explode upon oh, death. So gross. Yep. Leaving you oh, they're blinded great. and a mouth-watering target for a horde of zombies. So if you happen to see Otis from Barnyard, make sure you blast his ass from a distance. Oh my god, it's Otis! Show yourself, you coward. I'm gonna set you on fire. You have an M4 Asimov. <laughs> Otis, come back here. He Otis! <laughs> <laughs> I killed him with a Min Wear Asimov M4, as God intended. Hearing the dozens of boomer voice lines from the survivors in our modern political climate never gets old. This game truly was ahead of its time. We got a boomer! Oh man, that sounds like a boomer! Leave it alone, leave it alone, just leave it alone. I'm just looking. Leave it alone. Just, just like being at the zoo. Oh, it's an exhibit. What? It's an exhibit. About a round of golf. I couldn't stop. <laughs> oh my god. I had the Smith and Wesson 500 bone crusher. Of course I was gonna do it. God damn it. God damn it. You can't just put Otis from Barnyard on the other side of some glass and a Smith and Wesson 500 bone crusher in my hands and not expect me to blow his stupid cow head off. Stupid cow head off. <laughs> Spitters are the other support uh. special infected that basically spit Mountain Dew Molotovs and noxious acid at you and are definitely difficult to hear but have the most memorable tune. And they also have a tendency to crash my game anytime I try to mod them. So for some weird reason you were specifically excited about me blasting spitters in the mouth? I've got some bad news. Four specials that can pin you, supported by two specials that can impair you, are rounded out by two boss special infected that are on opposite ends of the spectrum. The witch is a teeny tiny crying Ooh, woman that yeah. can insta down you if you disturb her with damaged light or even prolonged eye contact. So either nuke her ass into oblivion with <laughs> a flurry of damage or completely leave her alone. Wanna watch me fucking crown this witch real quick? Yes, watch this yes, one. I'll turn my flashlight off. Chocolate. Thing. <laughs> yeah, you ready? You ready? Oh, oh, Down, duck! Oh, wow. Wow, you just cut her in half. I can't Bring believe down. that Arkham Knight just cut off Donald Duck's head with a chainsaw. It's fucking nuts. It ain't much, but it's on its worth. <laughs> and on the other hand, the tank, who, unlike the witch, cannot be ignored. With such hulking strength, he can tear concrete out of the ground and throw it at you, slap <laughs> you hundreds of feet. 
lead off to rain and normally takes a whole team to kill. Oh no, oh no, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> Jacked up Lego Robux, man. Yeah. man. He wants his Robux. Oh god. This thing is fucked, right? There's literally nothing. Oh, no. oh, 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 me, so that's not very cool. I know these nine nightmares don't sound like fun, but the weapons you have to obliterate them definitely are. Ranging from silly shit to deadly shit to silly deadly shit. There is nothing <laughs> wrong with my AK. That's your monitor. Fuck you. Throwables are a great place to start with pipe bombs, molotovs, and boomer bile that can get you out of a jam and kill dozens in a single click. Though mine usually look like chickens, white monster, or mollies from CSGO. Just go, bro. Just leave. Right, I'm mauling mid. Oh god, pipe bomb. It's a fucking chicken. <laughs> the hell are those things? I have no idea. No, look at them. They just want the chicken. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a monster down there. I mean an actual monster, not not the big giant monkey. I mean like the monster energy drink. Go get the monster doom guy. I, I trust you. I got this, Don bro. Hey, yo, call me <laughs> I am an amphibian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a smoker. No fucking way! No way! Oh my god, into a spitter. Fuck this stupid fucking game. You need to keep moist. Yes, with the ultimate liquid that provides moisture. Melee secondaries are available, and I know it may sound foolish to use anything but firearms in a zombie apocalypse, like, duh, Glock 17, go bang, bang. But these things are a godsend while you're surrounded. You won't friendly fire your teammates, which is a gigantic... Gigantic problem, by the way. You do that again, and I will bury you alive. And the mods are top notch. Like, you mean nice. to tell me that you don't want to kill sorry. zombies yes. with a hyper beast karambit alongside Batman carrying a literal bat? Give me a <laughs> fucking break. All right, this seems like a good second. <laughs> Yo, I got him with the karambit. Back in there. Oh, another one. Another one. No one's safe. I hear Shrek. I'm getting it with the karambit. Does that sound good to you? No, no. <laughs> Pickle his cage with the karambit. What will Pickle he do? Pickle his cage. You like my dice. Oh, way to go, Batman with a baseball bat. Couldn't have done it without you. They don't call me Batman for nothing. But the ultimate secondary has to be the Magnum pistol, which is technically a Desert Eagle that I rescanned as a Smith & Wesson 500 bone collector that I mistakenly called a bone crusher like a fucking moron, but what any secondary with an eight round capacity that can one shot any common infected on any difficulty always has a place in my waistband. Damn, oh, yeah. Smith and, Wesson. Smith and Wesson 500 Bone Crusher or whatever it's called. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yo, get Yoshi! <laughs> I got him with the 500 Magnum. I can't believe we shot Yoshi with a Smith and Wesson 500. <laughs> oh my god. God. Why did y'all execute Yoshi like that? Yeah. You just ask for him to put me down nicely. <laughs> Primaries are totally off the rails because even without mods, there's SMGs, pump shotties, auto shotties, pump assault shotties. rifles, battle rifles, grenade launchers, machine guns, dog. They've got the sniper rifles from CSGO and Source. What else do you want? The best of the best! And with mods, anything is possible. Virtually anything. We're talking AA-12, ACR, and M82 Barrett from Modern Warfare 2. I don't know how many of you remember 2009, but I'm pretty sure the ACR killed more people than car accidents that year. Rangers, lead the way. Come here, Larry. Observe. Oh, you ran into a fire hydrant, you fucking moron. Bill died holding a Modern Warfare 2 ACR. It has such a loud sound. Oh, that's Ride scary. You gotta move it. Otis, you rat bastard. Yo, Zoe with the Modern Warfare 2 M82 Barrett. Reloading. And that isn't even that weird. When you can equip the shotgun from Doom 2 with authentic sound, melee, and reload animations, a couple guns from Modern Warfare 2 really isn't that weird. <laughs> Thanks, Batman, for the friendly fire. I'll shoot that stupid fucking guinea pig for you. Boomer, guinea pig, guinea pig. Can I, can I, guinea can pig. I, hey, guinea pig. Because hey, why not? Hell yeah. But you're murdering the poor guinea pig. They're guinea pig zombies. Very, very deep oh. double barrel shotgun. You would not believe how many shells I can fit in here. Block me, ISIS, oh. fool. Ice. Yeah. Weird is what I did to my grenade launcher by taking an M79 thumper and turning it into a Pepsi can firing abomination that is entirely propelled by men. That shit is weird. Yo, oh. I found it. Oh, check it out. It's a Pepsi launcher. It launches Pepsi cans with Mentos. With Mentos. 
<laughs> Loads Mentos in That's it. amazing. We're at this pizza place called Bojo's That's in Colorado incredible. with Goose. He asked for a rum and Coke. She asked if rum and Pepsi was okay, and he had an existential. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Siren Head. Yeah, rum and, Co uh, rum and Pepsi is not okay. <laughs> no. Because Charlie <laughs> Pepsi's just not okay. Yeah. yeah. Just wait, just wait. Kaboom! <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Chuck E. Cheese. Wow. Charles Entertainment Cheese got it. There it is. You found the propane tank. What you got there, Batman? <laughs> I'm going to hit the Voltorb. <laughs> Weird, it doesn't have to be weapons either, because pain pills and adrenaline shots, which give you temporary boosts like health and speed, can be turned into the most delicious drink on Earth, with the exception of Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. And I think you can guess what it is. Yes, I found the pills. You know what my pills are? This is my fucking Yo, got they have tea. physics. They have physics. They even Yo. jiggle around. Ah, uh, yes, Gabe Newell, I like to file a complaint. I was halfway through Dark Carnival when I whipped out my beans and a bunch of zombies started pouring pointing and laughing at me and said, this motherfucker eating beans. <laughs> Please, I would like to return your game right now. Why it's is it? You just say the word oh, beans and then chat just erupts with this motherfucker eating beans <laughs> like immediately. Beans aren't even the end of the shit posting because minute details like your flashlight can be customized, which I would definitely not recommend. <laughs> what am I looking oh my God. at? POV, you lost your schizophrenia medication. Oh my God, my cheems are sideways. <laughs> Tiny cheems, look at him. <laughs> But once you start equipping Among Us shit, it's the beginning of the end. Like, we made our health kits into a mini Abogus, and there was oh. no recovering from that. Abogus. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Abogus? Uh, uh, shut the fuck. <laughs> Through my incredibly high tolerance for dipshit mods, I managed to find some real gems in the workshop, including Sanic as a two-dimensional object. Oh my god, he's <laughs> so thin! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has the text on Come it, on, too! Step it up. Oh, Oh my god, Rochelle. PS1 Neversoft Spider-Man is cursed enough, yeah. but just seeing... <laughs> Your leg! You limping? Oh my god, you limping is disgusting! I'm injured, I need some help! You got a problem? Hmm. I guess not. Battletoad is an obvious choice because much like my main man coach gaming, not to be confused with regular coach, he has no neck. How the hell are zombies gonna bite you in the neck when you don't have one? Exactly. <laughs> Top tier choice. It's coach gaming. <laughs> What the hell? I have no this idea. Be a nice Good thing I got my main man to back me up, Calvin. <laughs> oh. oh my god. His eyes and his neck are so good, Chet. What do you mean his eyes are good, bro? He is soulless. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Toad woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> my shit posting crusade ran so deep, and I had so many mods running that I accidentally made my squad the Payday Gang without any animations, and I mean any animations. Geronimo, motherfuckers! Down bag, caught in 4K. Oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is happening right now? Shh. I guess they're just like frozen characters that don't move at all. They have no animations, so they just are stuck in the same position no matter what they do. This is like. And Chad says, I'm down bad, bro. I'm not down bad. I'm a Cindy bitch. Bane, I'm missing my textures. Bane, Bane. Bane, I didn't download Source. Bane, I'm stuck. Bane, what do you mean I need Gmod? That's how I revive you? What? You and I aren't so different, Badger. What am I looking at? You don't even swing. You don't even shoot. You just run into people. <laughs> like, you're just slaughtering the Storm entire troopers. hallway without nice. moving. I mean, you're moving laterally, but that's it. That's it. Yeah, nothing <laughs> happens. You are just standing there spectating. Oh, my God. Look at this dude. Look at him. Oh, like, my like, God. What is happening over there? <laughs> oh, my God. I'll swing on him. <laughs>
You are so wow. incredible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just fucking despawned. Animations, <laughs> you just were like a static pose, just flying through the air. Please don't tell me we are dying here, bro. I At least Ben is gonna make you just jump in, bro. Just go. There's no way the entire payday gang died on the hospital. <laughs> At the end, Heavenly even showed us what a Sigma male grind set looked like by single-handedly murdering a smoker, killing a tank, fending mm -hmm. off hundreds of cheeseburgers, <laughs> and rescuing Noam Chomsky all at the same time. Right, nice. Same I'll start unloading. Oh my god! You know the best part? That wasn't even me. <laughs> that was my stand. Oh, Platinum! <laughs> Badger, I'm a Sigma male. I spent 6,000 hours on Left 4 Dead 2. I skipped prom. Sigma became male my, grind set. Aim my own PE gym teacher. Turn that mindset into a grind set, Jimbo. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Yo, oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> Once again, the Sigma male is being brought down by the betas around him. Let's play the game called Jotaro abandons all of his comrades. Just go, yeah. just go, just I'm go. I'm a bit of a Sigma male. I told you. Oh, oh, my, God. God. oh my God! How did you get him? How did you get him? Come here, Chomsky! We're leaving! Don't leave! We're. He's gotten done with him. Oh my God! I think you the cheeseburgers got this. Jump two feet, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Come on! Get off me! Get off me. Ah! We all got the achievement too. I told y'all, Sigma male. Damn, have you actually got four thousand hours? Turn that mindset to a grind set, brother. And now, after experiencing that level of zombie killing skill, along with some of the dumbest, most brain dead piece of shit mods that the workshop has to offer, I can finally say with complete confidence that Among Us is the worst. There is no meme. There is no joke. Making a survivor into an Amogus is despicable and i'm glad he got repeatedly team killed by the doom slave i'm genuinely happy about it oh why are you so small <laughs> get away from me get away from me get away from the giant oh among us teams they're so big why are they germa what the fuck? why do you have an mp40 why don't you yo yo get him mickey get him <laughs> Get him out of the ground! I live, bitch. <laughs> Come get this uh, bang. Come get this bang energy. <laughs> Why are you so fast? <laughs> I got him. What are you doing to that AK? Whatever I need to back to away from your ass. No, don't <laughs> do no that. Problem. This is so terrifying. Who let you grab that? I'll fucking do it again. Why oh, you got such a fat ass, Mickey? <laughs> oh, damn. I don't like that at all. Mickey, I fucking hate you. Yeah. <laughs> this has nothing yeah. to do with Left 4 Dead 2. I just want you to know I hate you. Do you know that something's wrong when Isaac Clark with an M1 chicken. Garand, a chicken, and a 1911 from Modern Warfare is the least weird thing that you've seen in this game? <laughs> Why are you looking at the bean like that? You are just so intimidated. <laughs> Why? Oh, don't worry, young one. I'll retrieve you. <laughs> I owe you my life. I want you to know that Left 4 Dead 2 is an incredible game on its own without a single mod that I highly recommend you play, even if you don't have friends. Even if you're just playing with AI, it's still plenty worth it. Yeah, look, Alice, all women are emotional wrecks who will eventually kill you, okay? Oh, shut up, Nick. <laughs> what you saw here today is a completely warped version of the game because my brain just isn't capable of modding responsibly. <laughs> Most players build mods into the game to slightly enhance the experience, and I just can't do that. I was trying to make a version of Left 4 Dead 2 that was built different, and I ended up just making something that was built stupid. I'm just built alternatively. Constructed <laughs> alternatively. Constructed in an unorthodox fashion. Built stupid. Crafted without the preset parameters. Y'all build different. I'm built incorrectly. I'm just raw <laughs> in every way. <laughs> I should not exist. I should not exist. <laughs> and that's about it. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching. Please be sure to check out Left 4 Dead 2 if you're at all interested and be sure to tune in next time when we revive Yoshi with Narcan. Just kidding. <laughs> all the Narcan in the world is not going to save you from a round out of a Smith & Wesson 500. It's just not going to happen even if you are a fucking dinosaur. Poor Yoshi. Yeah. I was following it for a while and then the last like five to ten minutes of that thing I was like what is going on here? Like then it would just then it just kind of like uh went off the rails a little bit and it was just like a fresh badger which I love, I love the fact that like Russian Badger and his friends have so much fun together and like just like have so many uh, 
inside jokes and just, um, yeah, they have a, a blast playing together and it's like fun to watch them play and uh, get so get so into it. And like, yeah, it just makes me think of like, you know, playing with my friends and like, it's just, but I do like how the end was just like, yeah, this is, I started out trying to make something that was different and I ended up making something that was just completely <laughs> stupid and ridiculous. Um, I'm sad about Yoshi, I'm not gonna lie. As somebody who grew up on Mario, I'm very sad about Yoshi. Why? Why do you have to do Yoshi like that? Was like, it was it worse than when he uh, killed Grogu uh, last time when he was oh. just like, <laughs> that was just completely unnecessary. Putting yeah. Grogu in there and just blasted him. Yeah, like why? Just why? Yeah. Um, I agree. The last few minutes just seemed kind of like dissolving into fun chaos, mm -hmm. which is fun to to view but you're not really like in it the way you are in the rest of it yeah um i did find it quite fun how he substituted out the different left for dead characters um the toad was a a fun choice and then of course the 2d sonic the hedgehog was yeah. hilarious 2d sonic the hedgehog was was the best one um i also love the pepsi gun that he had with the mentos that like loaded it in there that was a fun mod uh yeah, and so another great video by Russian Badger had us laughing uh, throughout it. Um, we covered some uh, Left 4 Dead uh, too in the story, um, so it was fun seeing the different characters and like his interpretation of uh, his review, basically of the different monsters too that you um, you, you fight in this one, uh, like the bloater and the uh, oh, this like the spitter, the one that has like the jaw off. Those are the two like dis original designs to me that are the most terrifying. Yeah. I would agree with that. Although the crying woman is is pretty disturbing. Yeah, the witch, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are very disturbing as well. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want uh, all of our Russian Badger reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Built Different, Built Stupid, Left 4 Dead 2, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>